The files of nine senators are now in the hands of the RCMP for criminal review. That includes two high-profile current senators, Pierre-Hugues Boisvenu, who quit the Conservative caucus yesterday over accusations of improper spending, and Colin Kenny, who was appointed as a Liberal. They're not the only ones who could have to pay back expenses, though. After reviewing tens of thousands of transactions, auditors found nearly $1 million worth of questionable expenses from a total of 30 senators, some of whom are now retired. And that's not all. Tonight, we can name the audit's worst offender and tell you more of the report's findings. Catherine Cullen has those details for us tonight from Ottawa. Catherine? Wendy, the auditor's report isn't out yet, but CBC News has learned it will call for the Senate to undergo, quote, transformational change, including an independent third party to examine the Senate's expenses. Now, that's likely not a lot of comfort to the senators whose names have already been leaked to the public, but who, because of a confidentiality agreement, can't talk about their expenses until that full report is out. CBC News has learned the biggest alleged misspender is former Liberal Senator Rod Zimmer. The auditor takes issue with about $176,000 of his spending on travel and housing claims. Next on the list of problem spending, Rosemarie Lozier-Cool. Of the sitting senators named in the report, one has already left his party's caucus. Pierre Boivnu is a victim's rights advocate and a big supporter of Stephen Harper's law and order agenda. But Boivnu's spending has now put him in the RCMP's sights. According to sources, the spending in question relates to housing, along with some of the expenses he incurred while working with victims' rights groups. Conservatives didn't have much to say about a man who was their colleague just hours ago. The senator in question is no longer a member of the Conservative caucus, but we've, we've said all along, Mr. Speaker, anybody who is uh, uh, clearly under a police investigation needs to step out of this caucus. The only other person still in the Senate and on that list of nine is Liberal Colin Kenny. Appointed by Pierre Trudeau, he's been a senator for more than three decades. In a statement, Kenny says he'll continue to work to defend himself and expects to be fully vindicated. There are seven former senators whose cases have also been handed over to the RCMP, and those who are saying anything are angry. Jerry St. Germain only found out there could be police interest in his case when he heard it on the news. He calls the accusations against him baseless and unsubstantiated, saying the findings are presented in a manner that reflects an incomplete record and suggests a bias or prejudgment. Don Oliver also takes issues with the auditor, saying, while many of the Auditor General's observations regarding my expenses are not based on the facts, other observations simply ignore applicable rules. Mary Charette Poulain also denies she did anything wrong. She says, I manage my Senate budget with professionalism and ethics, and I vigorously oppose all attempts to refer my file to the RCMP. But it's too late for that. The files have already been handed over by the Senate to the RCMP. Now, the full report will be made public on Tuesday. That's the next time that the Senate meets. And that report will show that that nearly $1 million in alleged misspending represents just a fraction of 1% of the transactions audited. But after months of scandal in the Senate, that point may be a little bit lost. Wendy? Thanks, Catherine. Catherine Cullen.